the place I call my hideaway. Only love will have the right of way in my hideaway. There's a cozy cabin built for two and a silvery lake for our canoe. I will be in paradise with you in my hideaway. We'll be so happy there where romance fills the air. We'll be a loving pair as the years roll by. When your golden hair has turned to gray, I'll be loving you same old way. You'll be mine forever and a day in my hideaway. Now, Helen, darling, be ready in 15 minutes. I've got the license and the ladder by the garden wall. Pack your suitcase and put it over on your old man. This Bet we will, honey. I'll be waiting. Okay, sweetheart. Now, when you hear me whistle... The time will be exactly 10 p.m. Get out of here. Now, when you hear me whistle... <laughs> you start down that ladder. Remember, not a move till you hear the whistle. <whistles> Hurry, darling. Ah, oh, sweetheart. Last we fooled your dad. Oh, no, you haven't. Mr. Lake. Yes, Mr. Lake. I heard your message over the radio. Thought I'd be listening to Amos and Andy, didn't you? You can't steal my promised bride. I've a good notion to knock your block off. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh. 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 we heard, heard a little noise. noise. Is there Is anything, anything wrong? wrong? Plenty. Listen here, young man. I've told you time and time again that Helen's too young to get married. Well, if you're going to marry me eventually, why not now? No, no, she isn't. My daughter will never marry a radio crooner. That's right where well, you're wrong. Prosperity is just around the crooner. No. Now get out. Right away. Right away. Thank you for the right away. Harry, put that flashlight in your pocket before you spill it. That's the spirit. Now, in spite of these two defectives of yours, I'll bet you 50 to 1 I marry your daughter in the morning. Ma! Good odds. I'll take that bet. I'll hold the stake. Now, uh, Scram. Goodbye now. I'll see you, uh, after the wedding. I should hate you, but I guess I love you. You've got me in between. Devil and the deep blue sea. I forgive you, cause I can't forget you. You got me right between the devil and the deep blue sea. I ought to cross you off my list, but when you come knocking at my door, hate seems to give my heart a twist, and I come running back for more. I don't want you. But I can't live without you. You've got me right between the devil and the deep blue sea. Not anymore now, honey. We have to hurry. Dad locked me in his room and I couldn't get out. Well, then where are you phoning from? Paul Stranson. Paul what? Paul Stranson. I'm still in his room. <laughs> well, come on out and get a wiggle on. I'll be waiting. Okay, Dean. I'll try to squeeze through.
about you. Yeah, it's me. Where are you going? Oh, I was just going out to feed your pet gorilla. You know, Charlie doesn't get a milk on time to get terribly angry. Hmm. Well, you didn't need a telephone to him first. Besides, Herbert's feeding me. You can't fool me. You get into that room, young lady. Get in there. <laughs>
snuggled on your shoulder, cuddled in your arms, dreaming while we're flying. Say I'm thrilled by all your charm. While the music is playing, I'm in ecstasy. Sweetheart, hear me say, Oh, this is heavenly. We're sailing away from there. What a grand sensation. Sailing. Say, this isn't bad. You're my inspiration. Let me fly. Forever, and I can dream about your charm. I'm snug on your shoulder, and I'm cuddled in your arms.